Now the next step is I've got a mark on here as my center line. That's what I want the bit to start at before um, before it cuts. At least I think that's what I want to do. We're going to find out here in a bit. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this back out to that pointy. The well, you know what? I'm going to just no. I'm going to switch it out to the pointy bit um, because. Ideally, I don't have to sneak up on it. I really need that point to be in the center when I make the cut. You'll see why after. If it works, you'll see why. If it doesn't work, you'll hear maybe some cussing. But uh, yeah, I'm going to switch out the bit real quick. So the bit doesn't need to be tight. It's just I'm just using it as a center finder at this point. Um, I may find a better way to deal with that. Uh, the next thing I want to do. Get some tape on this. Now I'm going to find my centering first. Now I have to figure out the next bit, and this is something I knew I was just going to have to figure out at some point. I have to get the machine to a zero point so that when the code runs, apex on the on the drawing ends up right there at that center and I had this all measured so I think I know how I can do this I should be able to zero my X and Y right here in fact what I'll do is I'll just go I'm going to change the tool right now this is probably going to drive Leo crazy the way I'm going about this, but what I'm trying to do is I've got a program. I wasn't able to get my starting point with the with flat script. I, it's the first time I've used it, so there's probably a way, but I just don't know it yet. Um, what I couldn't figure out how to do is get machine starting point at the point I need it to be. That's the most important. The machine starting point is off a ways, and I now it's at least a round number that I can move the machine to manually and, and I can probably get it very close. Um, it's the downside of trying to do stuff for free. But what I'll try should work and that's why we're working in crappy plywood right now and not in my final work pieces which you will see if this works. If it doesn't work I'm gonna call Leo and make him fix it. <laughs> Sorry Leo. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm seeing is I'm watching which, what the tool, the trace, the path that the tool is making, and it appears to be going pretty close to where I want. I think the only thing left that I can do is actually start making a cut. Stop. Rewind. Now I've got to put everything back the way it was. What would be nice is if I could get it to go to zero all on its own for me, but it isn't going to. So I have to do this again, because I'm not sure how to do that yet. I will one day, and I'm sorry, Leo, if this frustrates you, but this is how I'm learning it. I have to put the center in the Now I can just go back to 3.5. So I know I'm going to have to figure out homing better because this way is not going to work very well, very well, very often. So that's another thing to do, but I'm anxious to cut. So I might be getting the puck cart before the horse, but it's too much fun not to. So bear with my amateurishness here. Um, the next, the last thing I've got to do is set that zero for the Z again. Should be very close to an inch. It sure is. All right. So I 
I'm going to zero everything right here. Actually, not the Z, or not the X or the Y. Those I don't want here. Those I want back where it expects them to be. I think we are ready to cut. This will be the first test. Thankfully, it will run fairly slowly. I'm going to run you at one step above so it doesn't sound so violent. Here we go. It's going to get noisy again. First workpiece cuts. Under programmed control. Now, I won't have any act, act in this unless something goes wrong. I've got it set to start very slowly. Uh, all that's left now is the cutting. So, two things. That was really cool, and it didn't ruin anything, but I am about a quarter inch too far this way. I need to come this way. So, what I'm going to do is very non typical. This is a complete and total novice newbie not knowing what he's doing, trying to make it work the way he thinks it'll work. I may not even publish this video because I might find out I'm a complete and, dumb, complete and total dummy. But what I'm going to do is figure out how to get my Y. My Y is the thing that's off by a bit. I need to get my Y in the right position. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what I need to do to do that. All I need to know is I need to move it that way some. So we're going to go back to this. One more shot. Thankfully it's in plywood. Um, we're going to play around some more. How freaking cool was that? So you can see it took a few tries to get the area so that the point found where it was supposed to find. I think it may have been very close to right the first time, but I wanted to be certain. So anyway, oh, that is too dang cool. So we're going to do another piece to see how repeatable we have it. Um, I'm going to pop this one off. I'm also going to turn on the air filter because it needs it. It's going to get more noisy. Sorry. But uh, that was cool.